in the previous video we introduced the concept of commutative ring so the five axioms for a commutative ring we have a set uh, two operations so the set and addition should be an abelian group um, the multiplication should be commutative so AB is the same as BA for all A and B in the ring uh, multiplication should be associative too so A times BC is the same as AB times C um, we are going to, to call commutative rings a ring with, uh, with identity we can call the identity one unit or identity so there will be a multiplicative identity and uh, multiplication should be uh, uh, respect distributivity uh, with addition so a times b plus c is the same as a b plus a c in this video i'm going to show some examples so we have the very classical uh, examples the integers this is a commutative ring rationals it's also a commutative ring the reals and the complex numbers they are all commutative rings you can check the, the axioms for every single one and see that they all work okay it's a bit of a mechanical mathematical work but you should do this at least once in your mathematical life okay second example the um, uh, integers module m so this is also a commutative ring so i'm using this notation uh, okay with the multiplication operation here i this is the notation i prefer some people use this one uh, i'm using these notes from a life lesson so i have everything written here okay so some people use this notation i don't like this notation because i never know if it is adding or or, or what for instance the um, even numbers i can also use this notation so i don't like to use this one okay uh, and this notation too where you just don't put this the multiplication here this is they all mean the same so i might use this one or this one okay i think i'll never use this one this is a bizarre notation used for by some uh, i will be for integers module m okay so integers module m is also a commutative ring a third example is the famous Gaussian integers uh, Gaussian the name comes from the very famous uh, German mathematician uh, Gauss we can also write this way Gauss because this beta in Gothic um, characters is like two S's SS okay so the famous Gaussian integers this is also a commutative ring so the, the elements will have this form a plus b where a and b is an integer of course i here is the imaginary number the complex number i to the power of 2 is equal to minus 1 so i is the square root of minus 1 okay let us consider now a fourth example so let us say we have this set x in the real numbers okay this is not r for ring this this is real numbers but the elements in this set will be in the form a plus b omega where a and b are uh, rational numbers and omega will be uh, the third root of two okay so let us see if this is a commutative ring okay first let us check addition so we pick 
two elements, let us say x is a plus bi, and we have x prime, that's a prime plus b prime, oh, sorry, not i. I'm coming from the Gaussian integers, so um, I'm going to use this. No, I'm going to use this. Okay. 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 So now let us add these two numbers, two elements, and see if we are still in the set. Uh, plus a prime plus b prime, right? So this is the same as a plus a prime plus b plus b prime. Okay, right? So this is like a and this is like b. Okay, so it's closed under addition. Okay, checked. Okay, let us check now for multiplication. Okay, let me use, let us say we have, um, let us say a is 0 and b is 1. So x will be uh, this number, right? If a is 0 and b is 1, x will be this number. OK, now we want to check if x times x is still in our set. So we want to see if x squared is still in the set. So x squared, um, in order to be in the set, should be in the form a plus b omega, right? But a being 0 and b being 1, x, at the end of the day, x here is omega, right? So if um, it is closed under multiplication, so omega squared, now omega is this one, right? here. Yeah. So omega squared should be in the form a plus b omega. So let us see if this is true. Okay, so first um, I'm going to multiply this one by omega. So both both sides by omega. So I'm getting omega to the power of 3, a omega, please, plus b omega squared. So since, uh, since omega is this, this to the power of 3 will be this, right? So this is 2. Okay, so we have 2 a omega plus b omega squared. Okay, so we have 1 here. Okay, now we are going to pick this again. Omega squared equals a plus bw. And we are going to uh, multiply this by b. So since this should be a commutative ring, so I can put B here, okay? B on the left side here, I'm putting B on the right side because we are checking if it is commutative, okay? And here by B. So I multiply everything by B, okay? So we got B omega squared, AB plus B squared omega, okay? Okay, so we have 1 here, and we have 2 here. Okay, now, um, so from this one, 
we have 2 minus a omega equal b omega squared, right? Okay, so we have b omega squared here and b omega squared here. So if this is equal to all this and this is equal to all this, so 2 minus a omega should be equal to ab plus b squared omega. Okay, so ab will jump for, for this side and aw will go for that side. Okay, so we end up with 2 minus ab a plus b squared times omega. Now, case 1. a plus b squared is not 0. So that means that omega should be a rational number. Right. And obviously we have a contradiction here. OK? Because this is not 0, and these numbers a and b squared they are all rational. So in order for this to be in the set, they should be rational. So omega should be rational, and omega is an irrational number. So this is a contradiction. OK. Case 2 a plus b squared is equal to 0. So we have 2 minus ab equal to a plus b squared omega. If this is 0, then we have 2 minus ab should be 0, right? But that means that ab should be equal to 2. And that means um, A should be equal to 2 over B. So I'm going to put this A here. So 2 over B plus B squared should be equal to 0. And that means that 2 over B is equal to minus b squared and 2 is equal to minus b to the power of 3. Or you can also write this way. 2 is equal to minus b to the power of 3. And in this case 2, the square root of 2 should be also a rational number. Contradiction. So, from all this, we learn that this set under these operations, although it was closed under additions, under addition, this is not a permutative ring.